Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire, and we are here at RSNA 2023 in the booth of Carpal AI. We are here with uh, Dr. Vidur Mahajan and with Rohit Takar. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. It's an honor to, to do this with you. So Carpal is an AI platform developer, and so can you talk a little bit about what that is and where the technology came from? Sure. So we were incubated within India's largest medical imaging service provider. Uh, which was my family business. I was running it for almost a decade. Uh, and we started working with a bunch of AI companies from all over the world, helping them validate their solutions, helping them with data, you know, research studies, all of that. And we realized, and this was back in 2019, that the building of AI uh, is going to get further democratized. So there were going to be, you know, at that time there were tens of companies, you know, today there's hundreds, tomorrow, you know, we envision a scenario where everybody builds AI. But how do radiologists get access to these AI solutions? How do they know that they work? Uh, how do they procure so many AI solutions? So we faced that problem internally and started building out, uh, you know, a bunch of technology tools to help us uh, do that work because, you know, we couldn't hire an army of people to do validation studies, to do integration into packs and all of that. And uh, along came Kapil. So uh, that's, how, uh, that's how we came about. Uh, we think of ourselves as a single user interface for the consumption of AI. So radiologists don't need to go into different widgets, different windows, you know, different ways of consuming AI outputs. Uh, we think of ourselves as a single data channel uh, for a healthcare provider to send their data to multiple AI systems. You know, again, a single security review, single infrastructure review, all of that. Uh, and thirdly, we think of ourselves as a single procurement channel, uh, which is, you know, solving for all the administrative hassle of buying 50 different solutions from 50 different vendors. So the idea behind Carpal AI is you are a platform that is, is a single interface for a hospital and they don't have to worry about all the different point solutions and this algorithm for you know, subdural hematoma and that algorithm for chest x-ray, that kind of thing. Absolutely, yes. Uh, and maybe Rohit can add more on, the, on how we go about choosing those algorithms. Yeah, I think uh, the validation platform that we have that actually allows you to uh, put in your own data. So you can put in uh, the, so let's say you want to do a retro retrospective study where you are getting data for last one month, you put it uh, into the platform and uh, then you can choose which AI algorithms you want to run on it. And uh, you don't need to annotate anything. What you can do is you just need to push in the reports. And uh, we have the language models integrated, which actually pick the findings from these reports and create uh, all these scatter plots. You, you get all the uh, different matrices to figure out what is the accuracy of the algorithm, how it is performing on a particular cohort. You can figure out if uh, the algorithm is actually uh, biased towards a particular sub subgroup. So all those features are inbuilt and you don't need a data scientist to do that for you. Uh, any radiologist can just ingest data and use the features to uh, get all these validation metrics there. Perfect. So what are some of the milestones that Carpal has seen this year? I think uh, for us, uh, this year was all about adoption. Uh, so we worked very closely with radiology partners. They are the world's largest radiology company. Uh, help them run a validation study across multiple vendors for fracture detection, uh, you know, and scaled up uh, for them to be able to run a thousand scans an hour through four different AI algorithms, getting all the outputs back, you know, so auto scaling in a very reliable manner, uh, all of that. We went live uh, in Singapore. The Singapore government uses us for all AI deployment uh, within uh, the, the government health system of Singapore. Um, we went live uh, also at university hospitals in Cleveland, uh, integrated with Sectra packs there. Uh, we now have integrations, very deep integrations with Fujifilm, with Philips, View packs, uh, with you know some smaller packs companies that we really like, like Insight One, Ramsoft. So it's been a busy year. Uh, it sounds like it. What are, what are you guys highlighting here at RSNA? RSNA, we're, we're showing off our uh, single user interface, so the, our AI viewer. Uh, we're going to call it Carpal EOS. Uh, so you heard it first on Imaging Wire. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Car Carpal EOS. Yes. Okay. So EOS is the goddess of dawn. 
so you know after darkness there was light uh, so that that kind of system so we uh, shed light on ai outputs right we allow the radiologist to know why the ai is saying what it's saying and that's that's our primary use case uh, so we're showing that integrated into packs and and then doing a bunch of talks here as well we have you know about five talks scheduled from customers every day at our booth so yeah all right very good well people should come by the carpal booth uh it is uh, 5159 here in McCormick Place. And uh, gentlemen, Vidur Mahajan and Rohit Takar, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. It's Thank an you. honor. Thanks. Signing off for the Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey.